here we go back at the Banzai Festival. I came early today so I can actually get to see all the plants. Hey, how you doing? Oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really beautiful plants. Really nice. And so a lot of these plants are actually grown from people and some of them are actually uh, some of them they actually uh, go out in the wild in South Africa. And if you can see the cool animal skull, they have tons of animals here that I have no clue about. These are really beautiful plants, cacti. Really nice. Oh, that is beautiful. Really cool. And so we're going to just be walking around looking at different plants and everything. Here's these here. We have some hanging plants. Really nice. Oh, this is interesting. Now, like these here, I don't know if you can see it, but these here, they grow all over Colombia and Medellin. Cacti. Oh, that's a cute little hummingbird thing. And you know, we're back over here. The yellow one is so pretty, so the small yellow one. Really cute. And if you saw the video that I posted from yesterday, depending on which when I put it out, uh, this one, I talked to him yesterday, really nice plants. Oh, this is beautiful. I really like that. So I'm really thinking about getting a plant. Uh, just have something for the house. Don't know what I'm gonna get yet. Uh, so I'm still just looking around. This is really beautiful. I like this, the Shrek. I think I might, I really like this. Hey, you doing all right, brother? Oh yeah, yeah. Tell you I'll be back, how you doing? We are back, we are back. You want this guy? I'm thinking about it, I like that one. You like this? Yeah. You forget about that we took with it yesterday, that side. Well, because this one's a little small. I want something smaller to oh, start smart, out. Yeah. Smart, smart. But I think there are two on three. This one. Oh, okay. This one is too big. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I question with this one, when it starts growing bigger, is it going to keep growing leaning or will it straighten up? If you want to cut it, you cut it. You see like here, yeah, uh -huh. they cut one. Oh, okay. Long ago. So if you want to cut it you, by your own, you can cut it, but what I can advise you, uh -huh. if you cut it, just put it inside the water, don't throw it out. Oh, okay, let it regrow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no. oh okay, two for one. <laughs> So when you do the clone like that, does yeah. it, um, so will this, like, let's say if I clone this piece here, yeah. will it have the same age as this tree or does it become oh, a new age? Hey, you doing all right today, good, brother? Good, good, good. Tell you I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Please, please.
Uh -huh. I, I want to, this one here, I'm going to end up getting this one. Can I just set it aside while I walk around and film? Yeah. Okay, I appreciate it. Keep it for you. Yes. And I'm just walking around and just film some more. All right. So I'm end up getting that plant. That was a really nice one. I really liked. It. Oh, we have stuff back here too. Oh, this is beautiful. So if you see this here, little flower wall, really nice. I wonder if all these are real. So this is Aquaflora. A lot of different beautiful plants. So just to give you an idea, like this one here is 40 grand. That's like a dollar fifty or something maybe. Really nice. Oh wow. Look at this beauty here. So this one is 2,500 grand. That is a really unique plant. How you doing? Question, what kind of plant is this? I've never seen this in my life. This is a full stack one. Is it only in Africa? No, actually, I think you get some in Asia. Oh, okay. Okay. So, this is a basket. So, what I would probably do is, you see, this is a plastic pot that it's in. Oh, okay. So there's a lip. Oh, okay. It's gone through the pot. So, you put a chain to the lip and you hang it in the tree, and then you're going to get it around. It's a fur. Oh, okay. I've never seen that type before. It's so interesting. Just they don't like cold, so if you have a very really nice covered area where there's a lot of trees, they uh -huh. like to graze the trees. Oh, okay. So what we did was we, we, we gave it some extra, usually where they grow it's tropical, uh -huh. so there's a lot of moisture in the air. Oh. Okay. But yeah, with us in the high fault, um, we don't have that moisture, so we added, uh, put it in a basket with some soil, and we wet the soil and put the fertilizer in there, so it just gives the plants a, a bit of a backup. That's oh, why nice. It's so nicely in the faster time. Oh, okay. Because usually you find them on a piece of stick uh -huh. and they look. Because <laughs> they all die out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, somebody call me. Oh, yeah, the same ring. Yeah. <laughs> Are you from. Take a guess. You know the accent's not from this continent. America. Yes, uh, Texas. Yes. <laughs> I get the accents from America. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been here? Four months now. Four months. Yeah. Are you working at Birmingham or are you? I plan on being in the continent for maybe five or ten years. Okay. And I'm really liking South Africa, so I might make this my home base while I just travel. Uh, yeah, so I think it's a nice country. Yeah. So we do have our flaws, but I'm thinking if you were born here, it will be difficult to get used to another. Well, I, would, I think the European countries like. Um, England, yeah. you won't adapt there because you were used to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> and you think you'll get quite depressed. Yeah, because even when I visited London, it was lovely, but I was like, I need sunlight. Like, <laughs> you come from Texas. Yeah, so I'm used to getting sunlight all day, and it's like, it was depressing. <laughs> Well, his sister, they moved to Canada. Ooh. Uh, they're Canadians now. <laughs> they've been there that long. And I think they also miss, the, the, she missed the wild animals. That's the main thing she misses. She's a vet. Like going yeah. to the Kruger National Park and seeing the animals. Because I, right? I was going to say, what do they have in Canada besides ice? Oh, I guess some pisson, maybe. <laughs> some porcupine, <laughs> if you're lucky. It's not frozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a beauty. Oh, it is amazing the diversity of uh, plant life here in South Africa. And anybody who knows me knows I'm going to have a lot of fun here studying these plants and finding out what all plants are medicinal. And then, like, I'd like you to see also, like, you see how friendly the people are here, like, you know, like, you don't have to be afraid to come here. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, wow. All right, Dunk, if you're watching this, man, let me know what you think about the little owl planters. That is so cool. How you doing today? 
is really nice. Ah, oh, that is cute. <laughs> oh, the mushroom house. Mushroom house, these are all sold individually. Oh, okay. This is a mushroom LED. I hope it goes on. This one doesn't go on. This oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, Pain nice. Mm. For a fairy, for a fairy garden, or anyway, for an ornament. Nice, eh? Yeah, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that one. <laughs> you going to take this one? Yeah, so it's going to be my mushroom Christmas tree for the year. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't see. I haven't got my glasses on more. <laughs> I think it's... Um, Oh, perfect. Uh, can I play a uh, uh, card? Card. Yes. yes can. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, they have a little baby group. Well, teenage group. That's cool. And if you're wondering why I got the little mushroom lighthouse. Because I really want to get stuff that just creates... I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> so I'm looking for stuff that... Uh, just to bring new energy and vibrant energy into the house. Oh, no, I'm talking to the camera. I'm explaining to them why I'm buying it. <laughs> yeah. Just a little, little camera and it's just showing people... Just showing people what South Africa really is like. Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've been here four months, but I'm going to probably stay in the continent five or ten years uh, and just travel around. Yeah. Because everybody always asks me, like, are there lions out or there elephants around? And I'm like, it's a regular city, people. Not in the streets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, let me just start filming and let people see what's really going on here. Oh, this is really cute. Then we got some more little houses here, real cool, real nice. From Dallas. I'm from Dallas. Yes. I've moved to Austin. Oh, nice. And I went to Dallas. How did you like Dallas? Very nice. And over on the river, there's a place. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Over here with Keith. Okay. <laughs> Hey, what's up, brother? I was waiting for you to recognize. <laughs> Doing all right? I keep it very inorganic because I find that's the best way to inorganic. Inorganic, yeah, that's river sand and fertilized and stuff like that. I find that's the best way to keep it nice and compact. Even anything else is something a little bit naked. 
But if you go down here, the guys that sold this one 30 years ago are, are around the corner. You see their display. You know, I'm covered in there. You can ask them to share it with them. It's just enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. Oh, no, it's no problem. Thank you so much. All right, Enjoy. thank you. It was great meeting you. And have a great time in South Africa. You too, thank okay. you. Doing all right today, brother? What's it? How's your morning going? Yeah, yeah, all good. Oh, I'm doing a good. talk in about two minutes. Okay, where will you be talking at? Uh, in, uh, yeah, just around the corner. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be yeah, in there then. So, sorry, none of these are for sale. These are all the display parts. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, and I actually don't know if anyone is selling these up. Okay. So I didn't film yesterday while I was talking with Keith, but he went through and explained all of these plants. Really great information. So since he's going to do a talk, we're going to go in there and film and uh, listen to what he has to say. Oh, these are cool. I really like the group. Thank you so much. <laughs> How you doing? I'm oh, doing great. Oh, I love the mushrooms. Okay, I'm on my way over there. Really cool stuff. <clears throat> and so the funny thing about this is, I actually found out about this event uh, riding in Uber, and I was just uh, saw a billboard, and one of the things here, their marketing is a little outdated. And so what I mean by outdated, they don't use social media much to market. Uh, so like if you don't know the place, know the people, know who to look for, that's my brother, you will not know where to go. How you doing? You're doing great, thank you. And so now we're in the thing, and I'm going to start filming. That'll be Keith talking. Oh. Um. 